Welcome to the shortwave radio channel. And um, one of the questions that uh, was in the uh, in, in the big pool of questions that I got about shortwave listening uh, was uh, from a viewer that says, you know, I watch a lot of your videos and you have a lot of signals that you show us that you found by, you know, uh, either by accident or that you uh, hear and you're like, wow, this is the first time I hear this or that. And the, the question is simple is how do you find these signals? It's a mix of a lot of things. Um, it's a mix of looking at uh, official frequency lists that I see everywhere. And I'm going to share some videos actually with uh, some of those lists so that you can actually check them out. Um, it's a mix of um, tuning around simply and that I do a lot of tuning around. Uh, I think it's, you know, if I'm not listening to an international station of some sort, if I'm not listening to a broadcast, if I'm not in the hand man's checking out what's there, um, one of the things I'll often do is go to a frequency range and just start tuning around. So I might as well say, you know what, um, tonight I'm going to look at what's in the range from, you know, 9,000 to 10,000 kilohertz or even more. And so one of the things and my trick for tuning is, of course, when you tune, put yourself in upper sideband for a mini reason or put yourself in a single sideband SSB if you don't have the separate upper lower sideband. Because when you tune in sideband, any weak signal is going to show up, even in the international broadcast bands. So you tune. And we're trying to tune here, see what we're going to get. See how this tone gets is there. That tone tells me there's a signal. If I would have been in AM mode, so let's say I'm getting out of... Uh, and I would have tuned here. Notice how I could have just passed over the signal, not knowing that there is something there. Because it doesn't show real. But tuning in sideband actually made me hear that there's something here around 9098-9099. So sideband will dig out and dish the very weak signals within the noise and then you can try to see what is in there. And it's also good for international broadcast bands. Because if you're searching for that very weak station, you want to know, am I hearing this station on that frequency? In AM mode, it might like sound like just noise. But in sideband, you might tune close to the frequency and say, oh yeah, there's a little tone. I hear that I'm, I'm getting the station. It's just, it's washed in the noise. So this is another trick for tuning around. And of course, I just tune. And what do I do if I find something unusual that I don't know about? Well, I'll often Google it. Um, I'll either look at some of my frequency lists. And, but one of the f things that works quite well in general is I'll just go and say, oh, I found uh, state, you know, something on a frequency uh, in upper sideband. Um, what is it? So I'll just Google, uh, you know, 9265 USB. 9265 kilohertz USB shortwave, and I'll Google that. And sometimes, and even often, you get into um, you know blog posts of different shortwave clubs or different shortwave blogs that have mentioned, "Hey, I heard something on that frequency or this frequency," and they're going to mention what do you think it is or not. And so, you know, sometimes it stays a mystery. Sometimes they're like, "Oh, they heard it too." So I'm not alone and I'm not crazy, but, but nobody I, I identified it. Nobody knows what it is. Uh, and other times, well, you'll be in a list and it's like, oh yeah, that's the Coast Guard or that's this other type of podcast or so on. So this will happen often. Once again, using frequency lists that um, you try will uh, be able to help you out at the same time like in international broadcast bands, for example, like here. Of course, my EIBI space.de list is, is going to help you. you know, I know this is WIMB in Red Lion, Pennsylvania, 
But in the case where you're tuning, you're new to the hobby, you don't know what this is. So you'll have to use a list and, you know, I'll show anyways uh, some of my, uh, my uh, tuning around the international broadcast bands and, and identifying signals, how I actually work it out in a separate video. So you guys are going to see my way of doing it. And of course, everybody, you know, there's a, probably dozens of different ways that people might be tuning around and finding signals. But there are ways to find and know what you're listening to most of the time. So this is uh, Argentina via WRMI. Haven't heard in a long time. How do I know? I know. I actually recognize the accent of the uh, of the guy there, but I know because of experience. But once again, I'm going to show you how it works, and there's going to be a video on this. Don't worry, guys. So, uh, finding signals, let's just tune around. And like I say, tune around in upper side band most of the time. You'll be surprised what you can hear. And don't hesitate to come back to a band that you never hear anything. The best way to hear or, you know, get something unusual, the best way to get a signal you've never heard before is that frequency range where there's nothing all the time when you tune well someday you're going to hear something uh, it's not because there's nothing there on the contrary if you look at shortwave list of frequencies the bands are crowded with utilities and all sorts of things still today it's just that one of the biggest problems we have and i say it all the time the noise level around us isn't helping out so, and of course, we're going to deal with that in separate videos, uh, trying to find no noise sources, trying to lower noise, what you could do, and um, give little tips um, so that you can enjoy the hobby. Uh, because uh, one of the things I get very often in my videos is, you know, I can't believe you're getting all of these signals and all of these things. And I tune around my shortwave radio and I have the impression I'm hearing nothing. And, you know, there's all sorts of reasons why you might not be hearing signals. And so uh, this series hopefully is going to help out. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.